Okay, so now we're just gonna get this little clip that we've made. Now it comes five and six. Sorry about losing focus here. Okay, next we need to do is put our heatsink back on and start tuning. Okay, so what we need to quickly do is do our region mod. Now, um, some of these Mega Drive motherboards don't have this capacitor, and mine does. Um, and what we need to do is there's a link here between um, this Jumper 3 line and there's also a link in the Jumper 2 line. So um, we actually need to cut those out. So, hopefully we get to see. I'm just going to use my sharp blade. And just put a few little cuts on. Now with the traces cut, we just need to go on Put some silver onto these points to repeat them. Okay, so now that um, we've cut the tracks uh, on our little jump post section here, um, we need to attach some wires on it. Now this is for the, um, the switch for 50 and 60 hertz, and it's also for the region selection, so for your uh, English or Japanese language selection. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone and prepped um, two switches. Now, as I've said in my other videos, I do recommend that you have your switches mounted first. Um, for this particular Mega Drive, I actually have other plans for it, so that's why all this is sort of hanging out of it. Um, but anyway, if you get two switches and you wire them up like this, so in my case I've got a red wire on the outside, a blue wire in the middle, and a black wire on the other side. You know, whatever colours you want to use um, is fine if you've got different coloured cable, but um, just try and follow this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that out of the way, and going to attach uh, the other end, some wires here, uh, the other end of my switch. Right, so first up, I'm going to attach um, my red wire, and that's going to go onto this leg of this capacitor. Put the heat in here. Okay. Right, so it's the red wire attached. Uh, then I'm going to attach the black wire, which goes to this point just next to it. Okay, and lastly I'm just going to attach my blue wire, which goes on the other side of this buck jumper to here. That's one done. And like I say, if, if you've got different coloured wiring, that's okay. Just translate it over. Right. So now, I've got another switch wired exactly the same way. So for me, blue in the middle, red on one side, black on the other. And these, um, by the way, these switches are what's called break before make um, switches. And these are also um, single pole, double throw. So if you go to any, if you're looking for the switches, um, go to Google, type in um, SPDT, as in single pole double throw, and that should get you onto the right type of switch. 
and the break before make ones means that when you're switching from one side to the other it actually breaks contact before it makes contact so that means you can actually flip the switch while the machine's running because switches that aren't break before make you do run the risk of shorting something out when you're switching it over so anyway we'll um, carry on and get this solder done so in this block of connectors up here what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my red wire as um, I'm just going to go just about the blue wire to that switch as you can see there and the blue wire is going to go just about that that's going to be the centre of our switch Finally, the black wire. Just goes over on the other side. Okay. So now that I've got my switches in place, I can. Um, that's the regioning and 50, 60 hertz sorted out. Um, I've got my little crystal circuit installed and uh, we should be ready to give this a test now okay so here we are uh, we're uh, still got our machine sort of apart and we've got our um, switches just just dangling out of the machine um, and as you can see in here a little crystal circuits in there now by building this circuit without using a um, an actual PCB for it um, it means that I can actually have the um, trim cap pointing out towards me so I can have the factory heat shielding on and I can still tune it um, because if, when you go to tune these you need to spend a bit of time doing it and we don't want our voltage regulators there to overheat and believe me they do heat up quite quickly so by doing it this way I can just poke a screwdriver in give it a little bit of a tweak and um, get our colouring right. So, uh, I've got our power on, we've got our RCAs hooked up. Now I'm going to use, this is a Stretch of Rage, um, and I'm going to use this title because it's nice and colourful, but also when it's uh, in a Japanese language, it's called bare knuckle. So it's a good way to test and see whether our language switch is working. Ah, and now it's running on 60 hertz. So we don't have the uh, the borders anymore. And we're also called bare knuckle. So we're set to Japanese. Hey, here's something interesting, guys. Um, color wise, this is supposed to be a mess. So either I've floated the trim settings already. Or, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll try our other switch. Nothing happens, so that's probably our language switch. So I'll just turn the machine off. Turn it back on. Streets of Rage, that's our language switch. And here's our 50, 60 hertz switching. Amazingly though, the colour is perfect. So uh, I'm just going to have a bit of a play around with that and I'll be right back. Okay. I've had a bit of a play with this um, trim pot and um, as it turns out that this TV um, just doesn't seem to care about colour burst frequencies. It, um, you can flick it at 60Hz and it just works without fault. So I would imagine that when I get this machine home I'm then going to have to tune it because I'm pretty sure that um, this is just one out of the bag. So. Yeah, um, I've tried dialing the um, 
the trim uh, the trim around and it just it just works um, so I mean that, that's good for me because hey the mod works no problem but it doesn't help me because I was hoping to show you guys that you've got to just carefully with your screwdriver fine tune it until you get the colouring right so in this case um, because of my unusual test TV you're gonna just have to take my word for it that that's all you need to do so alright guys thanks for watching I'm off to enjoy some 60 hertz goodness So there you go, every TV I've tried it on works perfect.